Hard ACT math problems really stink. You've gotten to the end of the exam and you feel pretty good about the test so far, but you don't know what you're doing for any of the last 5 to 10 questions. Today we'll discuss a couple different studying techniques you can start using now to get better and better at the hardest types of ACT math problems. Let's begin. So let's first make it clear that ACT math is a skill heavy section, which means that you're going to be tested on certain skills and mathematical facts and techniques that you're expected to know outside of the exam that you should have learned in school. So things like that a triangle has 180 degrees or that you can factor a quadratic equation or that a sine ratio equals the opposite side over the hypotenuse, things like that. So that being said, easier math problems will test you on easier skills and harder math problems will test you on more complex or more challenging skills. So in order to get better at hard math problems, you have to get better at the more challenging and more advanced skills that are being tested in those problems. There's two ways to go about it, and the first method is a two-step process that helped me improve my ACT math score from a 25 to a 35. First step is to take an official ACT practice exam. Pretty simple and straightforward, you've probably done it before. The second step is where you learn and make improvement, and the second step is to just learn from that exam and learn from your mistakes. You see, the questions that you see in the practice exam are representative of the skills and question types that you'll get on test day. Simply because question types and skills recur from exam to exam. So if you make it a point to learn those skills and identify your weaknesses based on your mistakes and incorrect responses, you'll make a lot of improvement just through learning from those mistakes. So instead of just grading your practice exam and moving on to the next one, make it a point to identify your weaknesses find why you answer certain questions incorrectly, especially the ones in the last 10 problems, and make it a point to just learn from your mistakes and learn why the correct answer options are correct. And if there's ever a problem or a skill that you can't understand just based on the correct answer, you can always refer to other resources like your peers, or teacher, the internet, anything else. But make it a point to actually learn from your practice exams and keep improving your actual skills after each test. Most students completely skip over this and don't actually improve from their practice exams, which is a huge problem and is a waste of time. But once you do this repetitively and you take more practice exams and you keep identifying weaknesses and learning from your mistakes, you'll naturally get better at the math exam just as I did. Because there's only a certain number of ACT math skills that are tested on the math exam, and I'll discuss this a bit more later in the video. But just keep learning from your mistakes and you'll make improvement. Also, if you look at any hard ACT math problem, you'll see that there's really only one skill being tested in each of these hard math problems, whether it's imaginary numbers or exponents or whatever. If you learn about that skill and how it's tested in each question that you go over, and you learn the skill from practice exam to practice exam, you're gonna set yourself up to answer that question correctly or answer the question about that skill correctly on test day. You can start doing it right now and you'll see results, and I have some free practice exams linked below for you guys to use and start working on this with. The second approach to getting better at hard math problems is to use an ACT subject matter study guide. Our ACT math experts developed a learning tool that actually teaches you all the skills tested on the ACT math exam and those of the English, reading, science, and writing sections as well. And for a limited time, you can get free access to that study guide by clicking the link in the description. If you have any subject matter areas you'd like to improve in any section of the ACT exam, this is the tool that will help you do it as easily as possible. We completely outline all of the skills for you as well as all the sub-skills and main question types and describe how you can approach those question types to have the greatest success on the exam. If you're looking to improve your subject matter skills, head to the5academy.com to learn how you can start doing it today. Also, if you haven't checked out our three steps to master the ACT course that can get you to your target ACT score in just five weeks, that's accessible at the5academy.com as well. Apart from that, good luck on your exams, and I'll catch you guys in the next video next week. Peace.